Hi guys, this is Michelle and I am back with my 10 month anniversary video. I don't usually do my videos on my iPhone, so we'll see how this comes out. I'm holding my phone, so this will probably be a very short video. Well, actually it will be a short video because I have company that's going to be arriving very soon, like probably in about 30 minutes, and so I just want to get this done. Um, so it has been quite a while since I've done a video. I'm sorry about that. I keep dealing with this cold that's not quite a cold. I don't know what it is, but I have been fighting this since like mid-October, I think it is. I don't know if it's because of my vitamin C regimen that I'm doing. You know, I'm taking high doses of vitamin C and then I'm also actually drinking lots of juice that's high in carbs. And it's like every time I start to feel the symptoms come, I start taking the vitamin C and I start drinking the orange juice and then the symptoms just seem to be very mild and it never turns into a real cold. And then I feel good again for like a week and then the symptoms come back again. And so I don't know, I don't know what it is. And really the predominant symptom is that I get very exhausted easily. And so that's why I just haven't felt like making a video. I haven't had the energy. Um, I just really want this cold thing to go away. Um, and so that's what literally I've just, I've been fighting that this whole week because I didn't want to be sick for my friend's visit. And actually today I'm starting to feel pretty good. So I really want to do this video. Um, yeah, my friend that's coming, this is like my closest friend from high school. Um, for the past four or five years, he's been coming to visit me for Thanksgiving, which is really nice. Um, because of my current job, it's really hard for me to ever get the day off after Thanksgiving and so because of that I never can go anywhere for Thanksgiving and my family is in Indiana. Now my father did just retire here two years ago but my friend has still been coming here. We've been continuing our tradition of him spending about a week here with me for Thanksgiving and we always have a great time and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see him and I'm so glad that I am finally feeling better. So the scale has not been very good. Normally I'm a daily wear, but I've only been weighing a few days a week because I haven't been very happy with what the scale has been saying because really if I go over 50 net carbs, I gain weight no matter what. And so with all the orange juice and stuff that I've been drinking and also I admit some of the comfort foods that I've been eating because I haven't been feeling all that great, um, the scale has really been fluctuating. I've been anywhere from between 191 up to 194 is what I've been seeing on the scale. Um, so I don't have a current weight for you or anything like that, but what I am gonna give you is my monthly stats once again, because technically this is my 10 month anniversary video and I don't know what week it is that will be in the, um, uh, the title <laughs> because actually my 10 month anniversary was November 4th and like this is the day before Thanksgiving that I'm doing this and man my arm is already tired so let me tell you how I've been doing so month one I lost 16.2 pounds month two I lost 6.6 .6 pounds month three I lost 5.4 pounds month four I lost 10.8 pounds Month five, 2.8 pounds. Month six, five pounds. Month seven, six pounds. Month eight, 0 0.2 pounds. Month nine, 3.6 pounds. And month 10, 3.4 pounds. So in general, I'm pretty happy with those numbers, but at this second, I am in danger of not having a loss for month 11. And I really wanna keep up my streak of having a loss every single month. Now, my surgery was on January 4th, and so when I do these monthly stats, I'm going from the 4th of the month to the 4th of the month. So I have until December 4th to make sure that I show a loss for month 11. And so I will be coming back to you guys as soon as my friend leaves, 
I'm going to start doing uh, weekly videos again. I'm going to be showing you my meal prep every week and maybe even some of my food hauls because I really want to get my weight down for my one year surge anniversary on January 4th. And it's really going to be hard because in between now and then is Christmas and New Year's and I'm going to Vegas for New Year's this year. So I'm gonna talk some more about that, like I said, in my next video. So right now, what I'm going to attach, uh, next you're going to see my um, celebration, what do I wanna call it? My, in one of my videos in the past, I told you guys that once I got down to my lowest weight in 20, how old am I? 26 years, maybe? My lowest weight in 26 years. I was gonna treat myself to a makeover at Sephora, and then also I was gonna go have a spa day. Well, I haven't had a chance to have the makeover at Sephora, but I did have a chance to have a spa day with a really great friend, so I'm gonna be attaching video of that right after this. And then the other thing that I'm going to be attaching is some dressing room videos. So it's not my normal monthly dressing room videos that I normally do at Kohl's where I'm just trying on clothes with no intention of buying them. These are dressing room videos with clothes. I'm clothes shopping, so that's what I'm doing because my friend is coming and so we're gonna be going out to dinner and lunches and you know spending a lot of time together and I don't have any clothes to wear I mean I literally I have no dresses in my closet that are not too big I have one pair of jeans and I just I really I don't have any you know like dress pants any slacks um, all I have are leggings and so, you know, that's not really appropriate for some of the, the restaurants that we're probably going to be going out to. So I needed to do some shopping. So I have some dressing room videos of me trying to do some shopping really fast. And I wasn't feeling all that well when I was doing the videos. So they're probably, I don't know, not all that exciting, but whatever. I'm going to attach those to this too. So that is it. I just wanted to get this out to you guys because it's been such a long time. I hope that you have a happy Thanksgiving and stay tuned for my videos that are going to be coming up where I am really going to be trying to lose some weight so that I can have a really good weight for my one year surge anniversary. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye. I'm lounging by the pool. I'm having a really good time at my spa day. I have a massage in about 30 minutes. Life is good here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the jacuzzi that I'm about to get into. There's another pool over there that's really large. And this is the private quiet area that has a lap pool. We're in Paradise Valley. Arizona and this is beautiful. I'm about to get into the jacuzzi. This is the relaxation room while you wait for a massage. So these clips are all out of order but this is actually the dress that I purchased to actually wear on Thanksgiving and I did and it was absolutely perfect especially since it was 80 degrees here in Thanksgiving. So yeah, this was a great buy for $9.99. I almost purchased this black dress. I really liked it, but the sleeves are too tight. I'm starting to get to the point now where the dress fits, but my arms are so big that the arms are starting to be tight in a lot of things that I try on. Now this is a clip in the wrong spot. This is when I went to Walmart. These are some jeggings that I bought in a size I don't know if this is a 14 or a 16. This top is a Junior's 15, 17, and I did purchase it. This is a top that's kind of looks similar. I saw it on the mannequin. This is at Kohl's, but they only had one top left in the entire store. And you can see here, it's a little too small, so I didn't get it. Now this top, I did like it a lot, but once again, I thought it was just a little too small. 
and I'm trying to find clothes that I, to wear right now so I didn't purchase it but I did purchase this top it was on sale for $18.99 um, at Kohl's I bought it in turquoise instead of this black so it was really cute this is the same top but with a different pattern and I did end up buying this one also I really loved it so that's why I'm smiling so big now this is back at Ross again. I thought this wasn't flattering, although it doesn't look too bad on this video, but in person I didn't like it. I didn't like the shoulders, it just looked too much like the 80s. This I thought was, didn't look very good with these pants, but now I think that I should have gotten it to wear with, with the leggings. I think it would have looked good. This top, I really liked it a lot. But it was like $25 or something, which is ridiculous. These pants, they fit really well in the legs, but look at the waist. So I didn't end up getting these pants at all, so I didn't get this outfit. I did end up buying this dress, but I don't know why. It's not very flattering. I'm actually going to return it, even though it was $9.99. I don't like it anymore. This dress, it's kind of cute with the pocket but once again I don't think it's flattering so I didn't buy this dress so it's not appropriate for Thanksgiving anyway this is another dress I don't even know why I put this clip in here too small not appropriate for Thanksgiving at all this dress I absolutely loved but it was too small you see that right there um, probably in another month it would be perfect, but I'm looking for things to wear right now, so I'm not buying things that are too small. This, yeah, this is a sweater dress. Yeah, this does not look good at all, so no. 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 I love this dress a lot. I actually took it with me up to the checkout, and then right before I got there, I put it back. Once again, the sleeves are too tight, so I didn't get the dress. But I really loved it. I mean, it's so cute. I really almost bought this dress. This dress, no, I, no. This is, this, it's ugly. No. No, no, no. It's so bad. Look at that. This dress, though, I loved it. But it was too small. But look how cute it was. I really like this dress a lot. This dress is another one. I didn't like it as much as the blue one. But I also thought this was cute, but it also was too small, so no, I didn't buy this dress for Thanksgiving. I did purchase this dress because it was either $9.99 or $14.99, and I thought it looked great on me, even though the stripes are horizontal, but it still looked really good on me, I think. This dress I kind of liked, but the zipper looks like it's a regular zipper but it's not it doesn't actually zip up or zip down and I thought it was too low cut for the style of the dress so no I didn't purchase this dress now this is the dress that I was wearing this is a size 16 and look how big it is this is how all my dresses look and so that's why I need to buy new dresses